Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got a look at an interesting new tool, the Musea plugin, which is basically an AI-based chord and melody songwriting tool, which doesn't require that you know anything about music theory, harmony, writing songs, anything like that at all. This will kind of help you generate some ideas on the fly without needing that background in music theory. You can also use it, if you do have a background in music theory, like I do, to give yourself some options when songwriting. And we'll go over some of those alternate uses a little bit later in the video. First things first, let's just go over the controls of how this tool works. At the top bar, we have several options. We've got a chord volume slider and a melody volume slider, controlling the chord progressions volume and the melodies volume. We have a tempo indicator here, so we can set the tempo to match a session or pick whatever tempo we want. We have a drop down menu here, or we can choose the instrument playing the chords. And there's a whole bunch to choose from. We can link those together with the melody instrument and or we could choose a separate melody instrument here as well. There's a genre selector menu where you can pick a genre and it'll kind of get chord progressions based upon that particular genre. We've got a size for the graphic interface. This is one and a half times for me right here. We've got a helper tool here that can explain all the different functions within the plugin itself and our settings right up here on the right. Below that, we've got a keyboard menu here, which is going to show what chords are being played and the voicings being used. We've got our chord progression generator here and our melody progression generator right below. So the first thing I'd like to do is to generate a simple chord progression. Here we're going with C major, good old key of C major. I'm just gonna hit auto chord here. And all of a sudden we've got a completely filled in eight bar chord progression. Here's what it sounds like. There it is one time through the cycle. And if you know anything about music theory, you can tell this is a very typical chord progression here. We've got our one chord, our six chord, our three chord, our four chord, back to our one chord. This is a little passing chromatic chord here and a two, five, one progression at the end. If that all doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't matter. You can just use it the way it's written. It'll sound just fine. Based upon that, we can now generate some automatic melodies. I hit that button and we're gonna get three different melodic choices here. I'll start the chord progression and then hit one of these melodies. Here's melody number two. And we'll do melody number three. There we go. And of course, we can take the MIDI we just generated and drag and drop it very easily. This would be the chord MIDI. We could click this and drop the bass line only in there and the melody MIDI and drop that in as well and use our own sounds within the doll, which we'll look at a little bit later. If we look at some other controls within this section here, we can choose four bar or eight bar phrase length. We can change the key we're in and the chord progression will change along with that. We can choose major or minor as well. We can actually create individual chords ourselves. So if we wanna start with D major, E7, and it'll kind of give you some ideas of what you might want to do here. And you could just create your own melodies that way, or just use the auto chord again to fill in the whole thing. For melody options, we have a bunch of options here. I want to set another auto chord progression and notice how it filled in everything after the chords that I used, which is pretty cool. And then I'm going to move this to pentatonic. So pentatonic is five notes per octave scale. Heptatonic is a regular 
seven note per octave scale. So we're going to choose pentatonic. We go down with the note density, note split, not much syncopation, and down with the rhythmic complexity. So this is going to change the type of melody we can generate here. So now we'll do our auto melody based upon this new chord progression. And here's what we get for our first melody. That's the basic idea, right? We have our chords, we have our melody, and we can create a bass line only if I click that and play it. you'll have just the bass line alone by itself. Now we're going to create a new progression in the key of A minor. There we go. Do auto melody here, creating our new melodies based upon this new set of chord changes we have. And what we can do now is drag and drop the MIDI right into the DAW to manipulate it more if you want to, or use different sounds. So the first thing I'll do is take our chord MIDI, drag that onto a piano track, take our bass MIDI and put it onto a bass track, and we'll take one of these melodies, let's go with melody number one, and put it on a melodic track. And if I jump over to my DAW here and go to the beginning of the loop, I've got just the chords now played on piano. we go. If I add the bass back in, and by the way, that sound was from Easy Keys, which is going to be used later to create some different patterns. I've got Easy Bass with an upright acoustic bass part. And then we add the melody in from the beginning. And we could manipulate any of this MIDI that we want. We could open up the piano roll and change notes, drag notes up or down, change the length of the notes if we want to. We've got a great start with a great melody here. If we jump to the piano part really quickly, what we can do with easy keys is take that basic block chord structure that we have and record it into easy keys. So now that we've got our chords within easy keys, we can just use some of their MIDI to add some variations to the basic chord. I'm gonna jump over here and replace some of these with just random MIDI from within easy keys. And our basic chord progression now just turns into something with a little bit more motion in the piano part. And again, that all came from this basic chord progression right here. We can go through the same exact process with the bass part. I just record the bass part into Easy Bass. And once we got that bass part into Easy Bass, we can just drag a groove on top here and we get a totally different bass line based upon that basic bass part that we've got from Musea. throw the melody back in and remember this all came from within Musea. We just put some kind of elaboration on top of it. And just like that, a really cool start to a song based upon some simple steps 
AI based generating chords, generating melodies. We could change the melody if we wanted to, of course, use a different one, generate different melodies, have more note density, more note split, more rhythmic complexity if we wanted to. In fact, I could just bump that up and go auto melody here, and it's going to create new melodies based upon sort of kind of more complex rhythms here. We could drag new melodies in if we wanted to. Really, a lot of options here. So besides just creating melodies and chords and bass lines and using them as a basis for songwriting, you could also, if you had a song existing, create a different section of a song. Let's say you got a, a verse and a chorus, you don't know about a bridge, pick the key you're in, try some different chord progressions on your own instrument. If you know how to play guitar or piano yourself, it's gonna give you some ideas there. You could put in your own chords, which we can do. We can add our own chords to whatever we want here. And if you have a song with a chord progression you have, you can get some melody ideas based upon an existing chord progression you already wrote. Another thing you could do is learn to play some of the stuff on the keyboard yourself. So if you want to know how to play an A minor chord and you've got like a MIDI keyboard nearby, hold that down, look at the keyboard above. It's going to show you exactly where to place your fingers to create that A minor chord. There's a different chord here, B minor seven flat five. So you can learn how to play some basic chord progressions and use it as a learning tool in that way as well. So overall, really cool new tool, the Musea plugin, creating chords, creating melodies, and giving you hopefully some inspiration in your own productions. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.